Hello, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life, and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad I am back with this series called Cut It Out, where Lisa and I use the same cut ball and give you two different takes. And this week, we are going to feature um, paper issues cut files. And so this time, I semi cheated for what Lisa said, but I took this this uh, son that was part of a cut file on there which was the son that you see there and then it said some are made and it had the little made little um, mermaid tail on the end but um, because I am using a picture that I did from the 4th of July I decided to do a different um, cut file for my lettering and use the sun. So I did use part of it and I used a version of the letters for it. So here I am. I got out my summer days collection from Simple Stories and I decided to play with this. Um, I got this last year. This was last year's kit or one of their collections or whatever I should say. And I really enjoyed this kit that I got two of them. I got two of everything for this kit. So I've got tons of embellishments, tons of chipboards, you name it, everything. And I decided to back this file with this yellow, this cut file with this yellow paper and make the little, I don't know what you want to call it, like river or rays, like sun rays, a green color on the back of, or underneath of it. Because when I get done, you'll see what I do with it um, to start with. And so here I am, I... Uh, take I had to back a little bit more on it just to get it to fit so here's the stuff and you will start to see me play around with this and I decided to off camera just to let you know back my pictures with the word summer made and my son will come back with hand stitching I wanted to do that all off camera because ultimately hand stitching is hand stitching if you Honestly, if you don't know how to hand stitch, just comment down below and we can talk. I can definitely teach you some different versions of hand stitching. And I'm just backing my cut files right here and um, to fussy cut them. And I'm a little off camera and I'm sorry about that. My camera got bumped and I didn't catch it. But normally where I'm sitting, you normally get to see it. So... I had to play around with it. I think I love my daughter. I really, really love my daughter, but there are days. There are days. And I think she came in my room one day and I didn't realize it. So there is my cup file. And now I am getting out and I gessoed it. That was the other thing. I white gessoed it so it was toned down a little bit. So I took out my Distress Oxides and did three different um, colors. I did a Tattered Rose. And the squeezed lemonade. You will see the squeezed lemonade and the tattered rose on this sun on the sun cut file. And I just get it to where it's like beaming sun. Because the picture that I'm using, oh the sass and drama is real in it. So my daughter decided to take my rip your float that I bought um, during the Fourth of July celebration that the USO puts on for um, active duty soldiers and their families. Um, and she stole from me. I was, I happened to be talking to a friend and I turned around and I was looking for my root beer float and she decided to put on her sunglasses. She has her little beads that came from the USO and she was drinking and the sass was real. So that's what I did. And I decided to do the rays blue and the blue is salty ocean. So those are my three and I'll link everything down below. I'm ready to tell you that my title changes. At first I was going to put it there, then I decided to switch it, and then I decided to put it back. I just never, I, I didn't know what to do. So um, I had to go off camera for a little bit and just play around with it. So here I am, I'm fussy cutting, or not fussy cutting, I'm putting down my dimensionals, and I'm going to raise this up. And while I am raising this up, I am so glad that you guys are back with us again. 
Um, this will be back for the whole month of May and the whole month of June. Yay! I'm so, so excited that it is back. And it's ready to rock and roll for you guys. We have tons and tons of different companies that we are looking at to do cut files with. And I'm super duper excited for it. So with um, that being said, make sure you go over and check out Lisa's um, take on this cut file. I have seen hers and we both did mixed media on hers, but are on both of ours layout. And I'm telling you, my, hers is so much. I love my layout, but I love hers. So much more because she did an amazing job so you gotta go check hers out and of course i'll link everything down below and there i am i do leave it there and i place it and get it all ready to go so i decided to do some just good old fashioned cutting and distress and layer my picture i didn't care if it covered everything i didn't care if it was wonky or any of that sort i just layered it and I just took the pieces where I fussy cut out and just placed them along the edge and used up that area. I just love how to cut. And here I am, I'm just doing that. And I um, is distressing my pictures off camera just so that it's easier for me to work. So that's what you see when I'm doing off camera. And of course, my good old um, tape runner decided to go wonky on me and and not be oh it ran out so i had to use my small one and i don't like using my small one unless i really really have to because i've got you know it's my bigger atd gun is you know obviously got more product on it than more um stuff on it and there i go i finally figured out sorry for my head <laughs> my bad <laughs> well at least you can tell that i have black hair <laughs> and i did i needed to get that place down in there and I love this. So here I am. I went and got um, some thread and I start to play around with it and just emulate little things. So I got out snow cones and all these little um, chipboard pieces of like ice cream type stuff because she is drinking my rip, rip your float and it has ice cream in it. So I thought snow cones and popsicle sticks and that kind of stuff. It. and I promise you I know that you're probably looking at it and you're like it's looking like summer mad I I promise you it is M-A-I-D <laughs> it is summer me Lisa was giving me was just giving me excuse my French crap <laughs> for the fact that my D looks like D looks like a big old D and it looks like I'm saying summer mad I promise you Lisa saying summer me <laughs> Um, so here I am, I took the chipboard pieces and I'm just placing these sunglasses down because I really like these. These are some sassy sunglasses and they look exactly like Kaylin's sunglasses, but they're just um, different colors. And I really, really enjoyed how this page turned out. Um, I'm super ecstatic for how it turned out. So I'm just placing certain little things here and there just to get myself going. And there's a lemonade um, picture with an umbrella and I'm just going through everything just trying to find things um, I keep I don't keep that pineapple it doesn't look too bad in that corner but I don't keep it I take it out and then I do place that little raise right there and I'm just going through everything trying to see oh it did look okay there but you'll see that I placed that umbrella just a tad bit higher oops I'm sorry I didn't need to bump the camera right there And I'm just placing little things here and there. I feel like at first, when I was looking at this, I was like, wow, this looks really like a lot of white space. And then you'll see that I get out my sewing machine. I'm so glad I got a sewing machine. It was so exciting for when I got it because I, I just sew on everything now. It's like, oh, I need to sew, 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 sew. Um, but uh, I do some sewing, some more um, sewing, but it's machine sewing on there. I just love how this turned out. It is so super duper duper gorgeous. So I did place that little umbrella just a tad bit higher. And then I placed this kite here. The kite has nothing to do with this layout at all. I just love the colors. And I see, I told you I took out that uh, pineapple. It 
didn't really fit there like it should have. If here I am, I'm just placing everything. And just remember, we're getting close. Obviously, I have the close-ups down below, or I'll have the close-ups at the end in the layout, the layout chair. And then make sure you go over and check out Lisa's. All of the description will down, down below, not only for the cut file, but the products that I have used. And this is where I said that I used the hand stitching. So I'm just showing you what I layering up my pages here. And then um, make sure that if you like this, um, please hit that like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Somebody won an amazing, amazing um, giveaway from me of a $70 value. Um, so make sure that you are subscribed because I will be giving away another giveaway at a thousand or at a thousand subscribers. So I'm at 500. I'm almost close to 600, and I'm trying to really grow my YouTube channel. And I hope that I can make my goal. And here I am. I'm just placing these pieces of paper down that I really, really enjoyed putting on. I just kind of changed them on and emulated them. And then I get them cut. And then I'll come back with showing you my um, layout of where I stitched. I'm just cutting off the edge pieces that I don't want in my layout. And I just get them placed down. And there's the stitching just wanted to show you it now it is finished so I get out the little sticker pad and I place just a little bit of stickers around and I show you where my journaling goes and my um, date stamp and I add just little things here and there I go through and I just kind of play around with it and see what I can get and here I decided to you'll start to see me tear up I promise you it actually looks better after I get it all tore up it looks good there too but I wanted to do just a little bit of a different um, take on it. Sorry that I'm off camera. I was trying to get that off. And of course I didn't push myself back up. Ugh. The struggle is real between college and my spunky daughter, as you can tell, and um, catching up on just giving you guys all of the YouTube channels I can possibly give you in a month of one month since I've been kind of MIA. The struggle is real. <laughs> um, but the cool thing is, is that I've got this week and next week, and then I'm done um, for that part. So that's kind of awesome. So here I do. I place this little cluster down at the end just to give that tri triangle effect. And I just finish out with adding some parts. And I'll leave you out looking at where I do my journaling and my date stamp and the close-ups are here towards the end. Along with make sure that you hit my like and subscribe button and go out and check out Lisa's channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!